Good morning, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson. It is Marvelous Monday. We want to say congratulations to the Chiefs who won that Super Bowl game on yesterday. Only God could have caused a game to happen like that. God wants us to know in this month of February, this month of great history, February the 13th, it was on February the 13th in 1957 that the SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, organized at New Orleans meeting with Martin Luther King Jr. as its president. We want to say happy birthday to the SCLC and thank you to the great works of Martin Luther King Jr. Today, as you and I look into God's word and James, the first chapter, uh, verses two through eight from the New Living Translation, a very powerful message that, remember, that helps us to know that we must make up our minds. Now, the writer of James is writing to brothers and sisters in the faith, and he tells us, I know that you're troubled on every side. I know that you've had great opportunities of joy. You've had other situations in your life, but I want you to make up your mind. He lets us know that when you and I have a faith that is tested, our faith is tested that you and I can endure the trials, the chances of tribulations that we will know that God allows this to happen for us to grow. Now, you and I must understand that whenever life happens, it's a growing moment. It's a growing opportunity. When we see joy, we must know it's a growing moment. When we see sorrow, it's a growing moment. He tells us in verse four, so let it grow. When you and I endure all the things that will come our way, it causes us to develop. Now, you know, anytime you're exercising, you use muscles that you've never used before. That means there will be some painful days. There will be some days of soreness. There'll be days that you don't want to work out. But the text reminds us all of this happens so you and I can be developed, so we can become mature, so we can become complete, not needing anything. In verse five, it says, if any of us need wisdom, ask God who generously gives to us all. You know, we need wisdom in all the aspects of life and living. And God reminds us that if we ask him for something, we must ask in faith and believe that our faith is in God and God alone. We can't waver. You know, it tells us that a wave of the sea becomes the symbolism of minds that are not made made up. You know, a wave on the sea is driven and tossed with the wind. A mind that's not made up, it will go here, it will go there, it will go wherever the wind is blowing. You and I must be firm in our faith. We must be firm in our belief. We must be firm in our understanding. We must have a loyalty to God that cannot be divided. A loyalty to God and not the world. The text reminds us, because an unstable person is unstable in everything they do because their minds are not stable on God. When you and I have a stable mind, when we have a mind that cannot be moved, when we have a mind that cannot be swayed, it's because our faith is in God. Today, I hope you've made up your mind that you're going to put your faith and your trust in God. In this year of 2023, know God has a blessing in store for you, bigger and greater than you ever thought you would see. And congratulations again to the Super Bowl champions. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.